Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the startup of our SG15 and the SG12. Very similar, you know, startup procedure is the same on, same on both machines. So, first we're going to start by turning the water on. And it'll be filling the coil. And then we can start the, the pump. And you can see the, the water pressure. You can see the water pressure of our incoming water. That goes through and this, this switch is telling the machine that there is water going through and we're able to start the, the burner. Now if you see over here, the water is coming through the bypass. That's just to get it started through the, through the coil. The normal operation, that valve is closed. When the water starts coming out of the, the steam hose, we're gonna fill a pail. This ice cream pail is roughly nine pounds. The SG-15 is gonna have more than nine pounds per minute and you can see that the tank wasn't probably full Okay, to, to measure the water going through, it's going to be roughly nine pounds running cold with the pump on and the, the orifice in the end here, which I'll show you later. The SG-15 is going to be more than nine pounds per minute. If you measure the water and you get less than nine pounds, maybe down to seven pounds, then your, your machine is going to start to overheat. So that's how we, we measure the water. So we lay the hose down. There's a steam. And you would connect it to a, a, a wagon or a box to steam pots. So once you, once you get that water measured and you have the correct amount, you'll come over here and turn the burner on. There's a slight delay when the burner comes on, but you see the green light here. That means that the burner is getting power. This is the water pressure before the coil. This is the steam pressure right after the coil. And it, it needs to be very, the, those two gauges need to be very close together. Otherwise, that's telling you that the coil is becoming plugged and needs, needs to be de-lined. No. 
up, I can show you the steam trap. Which, the steam trap separates some of the water out of the steam, comes out of the coil. So you're gonna see some, some water and some little steam as it starts and stops that. There's a float in there, the steam trap. temperature at the point of decompression and that's why we have the orifice in the end of the hose next to your wagon or your box and if you come around Bypassing 
the, the hose going through your, your container. So and then you can wait until the water returns to a cooler temperature and then shut the water off.